am so glad I'm not first pick first band. Yeehaw, Kakona. Mini Milky, Xiazze, Mike, Saka, Candlelight versus Matin, Alpha, Juve, Grubi, Alde, 84. Yep, I've tried out Sonya's E build. It's it's really fun and impressive, Rockefellers. Here we go again. Here we go again. What a team, Medivh Kromivala. What a team. Mm -mm -mm. To be honest, that's an Anubarak game. I've tried the new uh, Rexar Sam Eight. He feels fairly similar to the previous one, in my opinion. Um, but I think the AI of Rexar, it's kind of okay, but it could be better. If you attack an archer, he will come back after it. Sometimes he doesn't come home. I don't know why it's so hard. I guess programming is hard. I don't know how to program, but... Overall, if you're good with him and you work around the AI, I definitely think Rexar can be a very valuable asset. Greetings, friend. Greetings, friend. Hello, Pablo Jr. 1989. Thank you very much for uh, the support, dude. Let's for the frozen throne. A Gruberak. For the frozen throw. Uh, actually, I have done low-level programming, and it's called Q Basic, Quick Basic. Balloon, grant us strength. But um, that's child's play. Where the name Grubby comes from? Gruptor, Gruptor Steelheart, the dwarf. And then people were like, "I might, you Grubby." Some British chaps. What's up, Grubby? They always said instead of Gruptor. I'm still wondering why Anubarak didn't get renamed to Anu Donald a week ago. Oh my god, that's so deep and not funny, but well done, Rimush. I, I would laugh if I wouldn't be so embarrassed about your level of sense of humor. Just like you always laugh at my poor jokes. I get it. It's top notch. Top notch uh, dank bad joke. Dad joke. You deserve to be here on my stream. Oh, I didn't take a specialist. It's okay. Still fun to play the new Anubarak. Uh, a programmer once told me the worst code he had ever seen was his own coding from five years ago. What's new about Anubarak? He has 25 Five, base spell armor. Four, three, two, one. I'm thinking I could use more, but I could also use extended spikes. Death to the living. Retreating now. What's our healer like, Rhaegar? I'm not solo tank, so I'll get the spikes.
Greetings, friend. Sea Shep. Thanks, dude. Dragon's power is yours. I cannot survive this alone. You should have let me engage. For the frozen throne. I'll consume the living and the dead. Hey Grub, what's the meta for each roll after the patch notes? Thank you. Uh, not sure what you mean actually. I wouldn't say there's a meta for each roll after a patch notes or something. Get under king. Our teammate needs help. I'll see to it. But all I can contribute. The flame cleanses all. I must pull back. Shouldn't the Haka be sold at all? Yeah, I took extended spikes. A hero has abandoned the battle. Uh, Get the movement speed. I must my mu my movement was pretty pretty okay. If I stayed, she's dead. But if I leave, she's dead too. Great. What's your opinion on the beta build? I tried it recently and the sustain compared with the damp and magic was quite good, I think. Hmm. Guess it depends, doesn't it? I don't play beta build. How do you do half length burrows? Just press it again immediately. We just got a little bit unlucky with the um, Li Ming disconnect into a kill. Overall, I don't think we're doing too poorly. Just have to wait till everything gets better. It will happen sometime. There's always a comeback. There's always a comeback. Uh, the Haka should be dominating. Medivh normally in the lane, but he wasn't doing his job of solo laning from the beginning. Once he does, and we have a little bit of talent equality, I think that would help. Of course, we'll never have true talent equality against Chromie. That's why I say a little.
Seems like there's someone dying like all the time. Greetings, friend. If I hit my bro charge though on uh, Chromie. I must pull back for now. I hope we soak this lane, okay. We still have three forts, so it doesn't matter how many deaths you have. Just count your blessings. Try to make a comeback. So close. Now, assuming we take the top shrine, I should be able to snipe the Dragon Knight. I'm gonna get a bit of barbs. Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh my god, she messed up. I was literally AFK. Woo! But now she gets the DK? No. Oh. Oh. Oh well, it's fine. Count your blessings. Count your blessings. I got saved by my movement speed upgrade there. I was hoping he would try to dwarf toss right away and that my burrow charge would interrupt. Nice shot. To get Grammy. Credit where credit is due. I think our uh, initial laning made it difficult. As soon as we're like in combat city, I think it may persist. But uh, we first need to get to that point. Don't tell me she has glass cannon. Okay. Hmm. 
We still only lost one fort. Keep it still half life. Two levels down only. We'll make a comeback at some point, hopefully. I think I take blood for blood at 16. Let me see the options again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think epicenter is important enough. We can't sustain through these fights. Shit build, man. Oh. Oh, nice. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. Well, let's try to grab a... Let's try to grab a thing. Take, take out the DK again. We'll just defend it. Oh, you know what? If Medivh steps on, they get it. Okay, nice. My service is eternal. I will mm. see to it. Okay, the Haka took bot then top. Very nice. Maybe if we can get them here. They're going to be busy rotating out. The host descends. Uh, I guess we didn't have cleanse and also I didn't have full information we did get the DK though nice oh anti-synergy love it always loving it oh just go for forge Martin just do it they may be looking to end though bottom was that a feat by me? I mean, it, it didn't work out. I thought, Chromie, let's just jump on it decisively. We got, uh, we almost got a tower. Well, almost two towers. He cleansed Glorious. too early, isn't it? Uh, you need to wait at least one second to cleanse. Otherwise, the one second grace period is gone because temporal loop takes two seconds. It's all good as long as we get to level 20 without losing a keep or maximum one. We're not in too bad of a shape. I prefer not to push the lane. <coughs> Ooh. The gust! Why? Actually pushed away Vala. 
I gotta go in. I'm dead. Oh, if the gusts are slightly earlier and pushed away everything except Vala, that would be fantastic. Uh, nonetheless, I think having a single death is kind of okay if it stays there. Okay. They'll probably get the keep and that's okay. I had the unfortunate displeasure of uh, doing blood for blood on Meridin as... Uh, oh my god, that's very aggressive. I'm glad he lived. While he was hard and shielded. Oh, very nice. Oh, <gasps> Stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. Take the one kill and withdraw your money and leave the casino. This is Chromie's casino. Just take your winnings. The throw is always real. They did a 10 minute push on our bottom keep. It's still alive and we got a kill. We're level 25 before. I don't know what that cost was. Uh, I'm gonna get rewind. I think it's the best part of a Nubarax kit. Can we take top with the global? Maybe. I must go. Cannot win. Burden's back. We took way too long. Nice cleanse this time on temporal. Rhaegar saved me. We should all go mid now. our support we've got 20 seconds with him back in the game it's not enough do a bit of fort damage? I don't think so. Their position is too good. So cool, Vala. Nice, we got Murden. Yay, very nice ancestral healing, too. We probably can engage, maybe. If they just tag Chromie. No, nope, Bridge of Death. It's just peeling.
power gathers Dude, Ming! Unleash the I must wrath. retreat. Whew. Okay, game goes on, game goes on. <laughs> Oh, nice damage. Anyway, one for one is okay. Uh, now the threat is that they go for bottom. We've got two very low assassins, so that gives us less than two seconds to come here and defend this after they come back. Siege camp is here. Luckily, they're not empowering that push. We've got top shrine. That's a really good thing. Um, they took bottom bruiser, which allows us to stay bottom, kill the camp, and then get the mer camp, whereas they are bottom. They still need to make their way top. They don't have a global. So they're kind of out of position to contest the shrines with us. So I think we're applying more pressure on them than they on us. Now Mergen's going top. So he's trying to stave off the apocalypse. So they're 4v3 here. That's kind of good. Uh, Bruiser Camp is dead. Mm, do we have Apex Predator? Uh, no, we have Nexus Frenzy and Change of Survival. Okay. Now, I could go top, but I don't think that's my job. I think that's the Haka or Falstad. Uh, up to their discretion, their judgment. Kind of need to stay together. I see five mid for them. Now, Falstad is going top, which means we should leave. But we should protect the bottom meanwhile. We've got to rely on the fact that probably Falstad has, uh, you know, fly available. Now, we see Melf going bottom. Maybe we can catch them in the rotation, but I'm kind of alone here. Now, Melf is bottom. There's several here. If I have Burrow Charge, I can make my way out of Temporal Loop, which is nice. There are five bottom. Oh man, that sucks. That was weird. Oh, the, the Ley Line. Okay, we got DK, very nice. Time traps and leyline seal. Their stasis is sometimes kind of working against them. Okay, we got a fort. Maybe we can go for bottom keep. I think it's the easiest one to attack. That sucks. And I might be dead too. No! Why did Falsot have to stay mid? We get a keep, but at what cost? I don't think we can take those kind of risks, man. Jeez. Just leave. Just leave. Medif cheats. No. Why did they all have to stay? There's so many portals. Go over the wall. Go over the wall. Ay, Lamau. Just stay together. <laughs> Just stay together. No. It seems you have lost a I should have just let Falsa die, man. Your core is under attack. From the depths I come. <laughs> what the hell just happened to me? I was not burrow charged during the temporal loop. I thought I was going to have a 5 man impale and suddenly I was higher than I thought I'll be. Oh my god, they're low. 
They lost the healer, so I don't think they can end it. God, I really thought I, I broke charge too early. I was going to have this wonderful five-man impale, but I got looped and suddenly was here and I impaled upwards. The shrines awaken once more. Who will control the Dragon Knight's power? No, but it's actually true, Red Fox. Burrow Charge will save you from loop if timed correctly. There was a number of times Rhaegar or me didn't save me. There was times where Rhaegar did save me and there was times where I saved myself. Anyway, we're not dead. Game goes on. Well, I did teleport, Boons McLean. Yes, there was also a gust, but I also I teleported. Anyway, they might be getting Dragonite here. This is concerning. Man, their Medivh is getting epic value. Besides the anti-synergy with Leyline Seal. So much value. Are they taking this or this here? They're not taking top yet. Not yet. Yeah, because stacks matters right now. Really? And they parted before my burrow charge. Get him, Li Ming. And my burrow charges aren't very accurate, are they? Can't believe this. If somehow the dragon I just like, I'm not gonna hit the core. I'm gonna be very ruffled. My feathers will be thoroughly ruffled. <laughs> Yay! We won this crazy game! Oh my god! MVP. <laughs> Good Vala! Couldn't save them! Jeez! Oh. <laughs> that game. That game. Thirteen thirty. That sounds equal until you realize it's thirteen versus thirty. Yeah, I think Falstad got better towards the end as well. Uh, he got massive amounts of stacks. Had some kind of wonky static charge build. Giant killer Erigus, very weird. My god. My god. Heavy impact. Very nice Medivh, man. And Chromie too. I mean, I think everyone had their bad and good moments. And I, I didn't miss, I didn't hit enough of my skill shots. But it was very hey, nice Grammy in the deep. I found this photo in the interwebs and thought you and the stream might enjoy it, Lul. Tear checks for great stream. <laughs> okay, I'll show that one. It's a pretty nice one. Thanks, Masramla. 
Warcraft 3, the Frozen Throne. Lol. God. And we're actually seeing Zarmony getting focused down there very nice. And like you said, Suris, with that just huge range on Farfight Quiver, just shred that. That feel when your Mighty Gust would have saved yourself <laughs> and your teammate. But you <laughs> used it for uh, mm, not amazing purposes. Wow, look at that. The swap into a Holy Ground. That was Ooh, fun. the bolt. But they're both bolting for oh, freedom. Oh, Suris trying to ace. Holy Ground misses. Shickle, it's up to you. Oh, yes, the, the double swap. Nicely done. And Poik feared as no well. Way. And Ma with the comeback. 